Today at Chet State with Elijah Carey. Hello, I'm Elijah Carey. I hope you're having a great day. Here's some news and important dates that you don't want to miss. Attention TN Promise students, your community service hours must be completed and submitted by December 1st. To search your campus email for a TN Promise and submit those online forms. And registration for spring classes is available now. Be sure to schedule an appointment with your advisor to get your pen so that you can register for your courses and times that you want. Pet owners spend a lot of time calling their dogs. Calling them for mealtime, calling them to their backyard, and calling them out when they misbehave. Now, animal tech researchers are working on a way for dogs to call their owners. CNN's Jean Moose reports. When you pick up the phone and say, hello, you don't expect this. From the other side... Hello, yes, this is Doc. Cartoon becomes semi-reality as animal tech researchers at universities in Scotland and Finland experiment with dog phone. No, it doesn't look anything like a human phone. It's a soft ball with a technology device on the inside of it. Actually buried inside a tennis ball within the ball. When Ileana Hersky Douglas's dog, Zach, moved the ball, it triggered the nearby dog height laptop to ring. Zach's owner answered the call and the two would end up face to face with audio and video if he didn't ignore her. During a 16 day experiment, Zach the lab called often. It was about five times a day. And when he didn't call, he wouldn't ring me through the day and I'd be thinking, oh, he usually rings me at this time. Commercial companies like Pet Chats have tried combining remotely operated treat dispensers with a paw call that sends the owner a text alert. But no one really knows if pets are intentionally calling their owners. Some days he would sort of lean on the ball and then he would ring me from this, either with his butt or with his shoulder. Maybe this is all just one big doggy butt dial. After all, dogs like to say hello from behind. Genie Mose, CNN, New York. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. Maybe I'll have to grab for, uh, one of those for my dog sometime soon. But uh, that's it for today at Chat State. Be sure to watch us online and in the amphitheater. Have a great day.